Okay, so um, in this video, we're going to look at um, how we could get one field out of this magnet while fully containing the other field, and uh, how we could use that to our advantage. So instead of one complete magnet, which you get when you put a lot of little magnets together, we're going to use these four small magnets as a demonstration. So um, what we want to do is say like pull the north field out while containing the south field so the south field doesn't spread out as well. Um, we only want to use one field of the magnet. So in essence we're going to end up with a monopole. So the idea would be as I said, instead of using one large magnet, we would use smaller magnets um, to make up that large magnet. Um, so obviously this um, effect is not going to give us the full strength of one field, but a partial strength of one field um, while containing the other field within the magnet itself. So um, what we would do we have three magnets here, or four, same size. We put three together to give us our one magnet. We could then take a uh, steel keeper or a gate and we then place the other magnet back on it, like so. So, what happens now is that steel plate is uh, going to be this field here. Um, in the center it would be neutral and on this end it would be this field here so like I said it's not going to be as strong as this field but it is going to be there enough for what we want to do so the idea now is to get rid of this field so as somewhere here somewhere here here we are So as the magnet on our rotor isn't pulled towards that field and locked. So the way we do that is we take a uh, U-core, a C-core, whatever you want to call it, and we simply put it across our magnet like that. So what we have now is this south field here is looped, it's contained within the core and the magnet as a whole, but we still have our north field here. So right at the end there it's very weak. Now should we want to increase or decrease the strength of the north field here, we simply take our construction here and slide it down the keeper until such time as we get the strength that we want. So the further we slide this down the keeper, the stronger that field gets here whilst we loop the south field back through the magnet itself. So of course you would be making a uh, nice sturdy construction to do such a job but it will do what you want it to do and this field here because it is looped will then have no effect um, or will not stop your rotor from locking up here your rotor will simply continue on past and at a distance it'll be attracted to our steel keeper here but it'll come a point when that field gets that strong that your steel keeper is going to become saturated and there will be no um, pullback towards that core when your magnet's trying to leave that gate so that's, uh, that's how we can contain one field and get to use the other. See right there it is quite strong 
So, um, just a matter of sliding that up and down the keeper until such time as you get the strength of this opposing field that's opposing the magnet here um, just right so as the rotor magnets don't stick to it um, they continue on so that's how we do it we've looped the south field back through the magnet we've contained that but we have a north field here that we can use to um, neutralize the attraction of the two rotor magnets towards the gate so uh, whichever kind of design you want to do you would just print up something that would allow you to basically do what we're doing here uh, slide this set of magnets up and down the steel keeper until such time as that steel keeper uh, has the right amount of the magnetic field going through it as to neutralize the two trying to escape it. Now it is tricky to do, by no means is it easy going to take a lot well it took me a lot of time it might not take you a lot of time but uh, you got a bit of a head start now now that you know how it can be done how you implement implement this um, is of course totally up to you there is probably going to be better ways to do it than I have done the way I've done it is quite complicated um, I'm basically had steel keeper um, set thickness with a hole in it so these magnets can slide up and down the hole and that either increases or decreases the magnetic field here the one that we want to get the uh, two rotor magnets to escape the gate so um, probably many ways you can do it and there's probably easier ways to do it that's just the way I've done it and it is a bitch to get right um, but uh, that's basically what we're doing we're simply looping the magnet and then we're drawing out from that magnet the field that we want so um, we would have this set up here and then our keeper has a hole in it that goes over the magnets and we can slide these magnets up and down through that hole until such time as we get the field strength we want and the field we want uh, while maintaining the loop in here so we don't get any fields escaping from the core. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, I wish you all good luck once you've done it once and you know what's going on uh, the second time becomes pretty easy.